There I was, deep in the woods. I didn't think it could see me, but it definitely did, before I saw it. Fear trembled through my fingers and my soul. It was me or him. He puffed up. He tried to kill me. I lived. Thankfully, I had a microphone hidden out of the shot. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I finally had a fascinating wildlife encounter. I've been waiting for this exact creature and we finally got it. Usually I go out, it's just like pigeons. Oh, look, a squirrel. I suck at wildlife. We get it. Some people drive out to these majestic locations and it's like they know this migrating flock of birds is gonna come and attack, swooping down and catching fish and there's a grizzly bears riding leopards. I get it. I get it, you're special. I don't have those means. I'm walking, but whatever. Squirrels are still special. Pigeons, pigeons are doves. Those are magic. So let's get into the story. I brought out the tiny little behemoth. The Sony, that's full frame. Sony A7S III with the G Master 100 to 400. Fan, I'm getting used to it. We'll get into the performance of this after this little story here. So I head out to my local ravine area and I happen upon a robin. That was the first sighting. I'm like, oh, look at those guys. Look at those cute little guys. They were digging something. He looked at me. I'm like, hey, buddy, we cool? I was pretty close to them. They were allowing it. Then he's like grabbing. Look at the force. I don't know. They were like digging for worms or something, but it was like minus at least 18 degrees Celsius. Like what living being could be under there? None. None. So I don't know what they were doing. Then I caught this majestic shot of him ignoring me. Wow. Look at it. And then he flew off. Son of a bitch. So here's the moment. I see this squirrel. I'm up there. I'm like, oh, he's licking sap or something. Oh, that is so cute. He's half covered, but it was artfully half covered, like a, a suggestive nude type of thing. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. And so I wanted to get a closer shot. So I make my way around to the side and I'm slowly just focused on this squirrel. I'm like, okay, there's a decent composition. We got 4K 120p here. Okay, do something majestic. He did nothing. He didn't even blink. I was like, oh, all right, do something. Usually like even a slow blink will be like, oh, that's magical. He did nothing. He didn't budge. All of a sudden, this hawk looking freak thing bird just flies out from right in front of me. I was like, there was a hawk. A hundred percent of my attention was focused on this squirrel, which I could see anywhere. Just leave the house. There they are. I'm just like, oh, this squirrel footage, this majestic hawk flies off. And I'm like, that's not a hawk. That that's an owl. The owl of hope was he didn't fly too far or she. I don't know. It was close, but she was camouflaged in this same tree. Just a couple days ago, I'm in this group now, Facebook group, Beauty of the Dawn, because it's just like, where I go is just the Dawn Valley Trail near my house, but there's lots of animals there. So people post their photography pictures. Photography-based pictures are the worst. So I'm in this group and I see a picture of an owl and I'm like, you would not even notice that thing. If you saw it, like they're perfectly wood-like. They're in a tree, they're just, they look like a tree. I was like, oh, okay, I better look harder. So I'm looking at this squirrel. Meanwhile, there's this majestic owl probably staring at me like, yo, buddy, majestic owl over here. I have wisdom. Look into my eyes. And he flies off and I'm like, how did I not see that? It was the dumbest thing, just like trying to feed a pigeon and there's like a lion and a zebra just high-fiving. Oh, should have filmed that. So this owl, 
still pretty far away from me, but he flew into like an evergreen tree. I'm like, there it is. And then this woodpecker shows up and you wouldn't believe the trifecta. I still wanted to get this squirrel footage. We got an owl hiding in a tree and then this fast woodpecker much closer. And I'm like, what do I film with the owl? But he's slow. He'll stay there. The woodpecker's going to go, okay, get this woodpecker. I didn't get much of it. And I didn't even manage to focus on the bird. And he flew off. That's on me, sucking at my job. But we got a little shot. We got a little shot. And so I moved in a little closer for the owl. Let's just bask in his glory. Then he tried to kill me. I realize maybe I got too close. I'm so sorry, Majestic Owl, you win. I, he puffed right up. She, I thought she saw like a bird or a mouse behind me. I was like, okay, you're about to, okay, I'll just capture this flight in action. No problem. I'll track it manually and never missing anything. But she was looking directly into my soul. So she was trying to threaten me off, puffing up. I'm so sorry to have disturbed you. I realize that. I wasn't that close. I mean, that's 400 mil. I was respectfully, but in order to get that close, I realized, hold on, you're looking up. I see that. Don't worry, we'll get to that. <laughs> I thought she spotted a bird or something and was going to leap. So I zoomed out. Sony lost focus. And then I reacquired it eventually. But in order to get to that area, it was like, I don't know, three or four feet of snow. And I have like ankle boots. I wasn't prepared, but I went, I braved it. I braved the snow. I took three steps into this deep snow and then looked and she was doing this puffy shit. And I was like, oh my God, I missed a lot of it. She was hiding on the branch and then slowly walked out all puffy. I was like, oh my God. I gotta get this. But she calmed down. She was okay with my presence after a while. And I got nice and close and I was just communicating telepathically with her. I'm like, you're so beautiful, so majestic. Wow, look at you. I've been waiting to see an owl and it couldn't have been better. I could not believe those eyes and the slow wink. It looks like they have like a double eyelid type of thing. But just the brightness, there's something behind those eyes. Those are, wow. I got a little shot. I left and I was like, I just want to look one last time. It was bullshit footage. It's a terrible angle. I suck. But my God, Sony, you did well. You did well. That was all manual focus. I wasn't going to risk it. It's just so easy. Just a little like, it's almost too sensitive. Like one little turn, you're moving. Whereas like other cameras are multiple turns just to get to where you want. But this is like fine tuning it. I'm getting used to it. It's really nice. The only problem, my original idea for making wildlife videos was just to film like 4K 60p and be doing dialogue. And so I'm just, sometimes I could slow it down if I wanted, but in general, I'm just filming funny commentary. But what I noticed I can't do that. There's too much going on. Like trying to hold the camera stable, manually focusing on the bird. Okay, do I have the shot? And then I'm trying to talk about something else. My brain wasn't working. I was like, I can't, there's too much going on. Like usually when I vlog, uh, uh, when I go vlog on the street, I like to come up with a topic first. I'm not just going to go leave and then talk about random shit. Like we have our topic, a video idea, just like this one, but I go outside and I'm walking and usually the scenery complements what we're doing. Like maybe it'll be about color science and then we test a couple different colors of cameras. Something. That's a bullshit video. That would suck. Oh, 14 views per foot. I see it, but that's fine. 
I can vlog and talk about other things, but wildlife, like there's just too much going on. I just made one for my other channel about generosity. It turned out all right, but my brain just was not working. It was, there's too much attention going to the bird. And she, we had these two footballs <laughs> trying to track the spies, God. So what I realized, thankfully, because Sony Stabe is bullshit. In 4K 60, 4K 24p, if it's just normal speed footage, it's unusable, basically, handheld. I get some of you like to bring a monopod, you're losers. It doesn't, I wanna walk and enjoy. I'm not sim, like I'm not in a camp. If you're in a hide or something like that, hmm, this is wildlife, bro. I paid a hundred dollars to be here. You're in a prison of your own mind. That's not, you're not in the wild. You're in a cage and they will let you out eventually if you give them enough money. You suck. Just like people who build like bird feeder posts and oh, I got a perch, a magical perch. And there's a seed, I, I stuck a seed here. The bird's gonna come to me. You're an old man in a backyard, get a life. So I like to walk through the woods stealthfully. I might even camouflage up one day and just like enjoy the experience. And if I see an animal, oh, cool, look at that, out in the wild, boom. So Sony, stabilization bullshit, but if you just film the slow-mo, it's a much more enjoyable experience for me just to go out, okay, 4K, 120p, and also the 240 frames per second. And I just focus on capturing footage. And then I'll make a bullshit video like this at home, playing the footage in the background. Oh, what could go wrong? So now this is a decent ass setup. I don't think you could beat it. Like maybe the A1, Okay, but there's so much more expensive. 4K 120p, 240 frames. It's stable enough when you slow it down that much. It's not too heavy, it's very heavy. But with the tripod thing, you carry it like that down by your side. You're walking. You're walking, oh. I'm trying to do a clear image zoom test. There it is. There. Is it still clear? Image. Zoom. Oh, God. So I'm very happy with it and kind of sad now. It's like, I like looking for camera gear to buy. It's exciting. Looking for the right deal. And now that I have this, it's like, what's you can't even improve on it. If I got a Canon, the footage would be harder to edit. The Fuji will look worse. I just saw a Fuji deal, 1550. I could have got it, could have pounced, but what's the point? Now that I have that, it's like, sure the Stabe is better, but if you slow it down, you're better. And now you have 4K 120p versus 1080p 120p. I'll pee on your mom. She would like it. So thank you to the owl who blessed me with her presence. So majestic that was, that just felt so special. It really did. And it's encounters like that. You never know what's gonna happen in wildlife, even if you're in what seems not very wild. It's just like a little creek next to a street. You can still see some stuff. We'll get a deer, we'll get a fox. In the summer, for sure, I'll go to different places on the scooter and we get some magic. But till then, no magic. The only thing I don't like is now, this was my studio cam. So all my settings on the custom modes now are for wildlife. I kind of wish I had another one. So now we're using the Olympus as my studio cam. It should never be. We're still waiting on that 75 to 300. It's been delayed. That's fun. But yeah, I just, I probably should get another Sony camera for in here, but they haven't released anything worth buying in 14 years. So that's my story, 100% focused on a squirrel, majestic owl looking at me, and then we got some magic. We got some magic. 
So let me know your crazy wildlife stories down below and I'll delete your comment and pretend it happened to me in a future video. And thank you for giving me material and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt while you're down there. Maybe the camera through my affiliate links. You can, you can afford it. Don't tell the wife. Tell her, but make it seem like it's for her. I'm going to go. You subscribing? You're not.